paramedics Matt and Hayden are on shift in central London. It's eight o'clock and their first call of the evening is to a West End restaurant. A woman's fallen ill after a few drinks and a trip to the theatre. She felt unwell and um, she's collapsed. As she's come back round, she's noticed that she's got weakness down her left side. Um, and to us, this is a sign of a uh, stroke. However, it's quite difficult because of, because of her drinking alcohol. It's just really difficult to be able to assess them and get a proper history of what's happened with the key events. The lead up to Christmas is always a busy time for London's ambulance service, but already this year, last Friday, they had more than 6,000 calls. To put that into perspective, it's a 24% increase from the first Friday in September this year. <laughs> Next, it's on to Victoria. We've just received a call that there's a 40-year-old male who's just um, fallen over, hit his head. Upon arriving, it's clear he's had a lot to drink. So are you, are you by yourself tonight? He was on his own, yeah. He was on his own, and you guys, it's really nice of you to stop. And... The kindness of passers-by means he's made it safely into the hands of the paramedics. We're here to help you, yeah. OK? It's not that you... I feel so bad. Some of, the, some of the intoxicated people we go to are um, um, you know, abusive, aggressive and such. He was actually quite nice, but uh, he's deserving of an ambulance. Um, it does, it, these things just take time and we've only got a limited amount of resources to give to the public. <laughs> yeah, repeat, we're, we're going to be staying in the vehicle, but he is starting fights with just people around him. Back in Soho, Matthew and Hayden are called to a drunk man behaving aggressively. They can't treat him until police arrive. Another December night, another intoxicated patient. From the paramedics, the message is clear. Enjoy Christmas time, but be sensible when you're out drinking. Eat dinner, drink water, and most importantly, make sure you've a plan with friends or family to get home safely. Thank you. Helen Mulroy, BBC London News.